Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. This is Episode 3, In Harm's Way. And before we get into this episode, I need to talk about something regarding spoilers. So if you've never seen this game or you don't care to hear what I have to say about spoilers, then skip ahead to the time that I'm posting on the screen right now. And I'll give you a couple seconds to skip to there. And we're good. Okay, now that all the people who don't want to be spoiled are out of here, I just have to say something about one of the playthroughs that I had. It was episode 2, part 2, I believe. Um, there was a point in the video where I mentioned that I didn't expect Kenny to be the person that Clem was going to see. I expected it to be either Lily or Jane. And not too long after I uploaded the video, Nini, she scans the comments to make sure I avoid spoilers. She said that a lot of people were commenting that, hey, how does he know who Jane is? Jane is in this season. You know, he's not supposed to know about her yet. Does Jane know all about season two and all that? And I was like, what? Like, what are they talking about? And apparently there's a person named Jane in this season. And the name that I said was just pure coincidence. Like the name Jane is so common, it's used to phrase a name for a person that you don't know the name to. Jane Doe, that's like the, that's like the equivalent of John Doe. Plain Jane. It's like, Jane is like the most common name out there, and I just said it out of pure coincidence. The fact that there is a character in this game named Jane doesn't mean I know who that is. But now I know there's a person named Jane in here. And the thing that gets me about that is people saying that I've played this game before. Trust me, you guys have recommended me a lot of games on the channel, and I say no because I've already played it. Like, one of the most popular games that I get requested all the time is Undertale. But I tell people who recommend it to me, I say, I've seen Jacksepticeye play Undertale, so there's no way I'm going to play it because my reactions wouldn't feel pure. They wouldn't be real. And I'm not going to play that. People seem to think I'm playing this because of views. Undertale would be one of the best series to play on this channel if I cared about views at all. But I played this game because I mentioned from the first game that I saw on Steam that these two seasons had overwhelmingly positive reviews and I wanted to play something that had great reviews because I don't want to play shitty games on this channel. Same thing with games like The Last of Us and Heavy Rain and Uncharted. I wouldn't play those games because I played them in my own time already. But The Walking Dead seasons, I haven't played it. And if I knew everything about this game, wouldn't you guys think that I wouldn't try to restart the game and try to save the dog or even try to figure out how I can make the dog live if I knew the dog was going to die regardless? Or the fact that I could have taken that gold watch and given it to Nick when he was asking for it in the last episode. I just want to clear that up. So when I see the person named Jane here, I'm just going to be like, oh, okay, this is the person that they're talking about. But I promise you, I don't know anything about this game. The name Jane was just a big coincidence. Anyway, let's get started on episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I just wanted to clear up the misunderstanding that people think I know all about this game. I don't. I'm going into this game blind as hell. Let's continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready to rock and roll? I know I'm not wearing my hat and I'm not standing up right now. I just feel like relaxing, you know, sitting back, kicking back, feeling cool, looking like Clem, looking at this tree. What you looking at, girl? There's a butterfly. A butterfly on the tree, looking like it's part of the tree. All right. Bye, butterfly. You not done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. No problem. I know they made you. They did make me. It's still nice that you came. They forced me at gunpoint. But we're friends. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. Sarah seems like the type of person that'll watch you pee. Like, she'll be like... <laughs> while you're peeing. Everything come out all right, girls? What is that supposed to Troy, mean? Get him tied up. Will do. Who says that? Who says no, while you're away. peeing, did Probably it come out all right? Out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. No, nope. froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Oh, I'm right you here. You're talking so damn loud. Where's your manners? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. We'll chalk it up as a lesson learned, all right? Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us.
in. You know you could have told us that without the gun, right? It's not like we could run anywhere. Are you guys Our okay? hands are tied. The did I say Hans? Hey, Our Hans are tied. Hey, hey! And welcome back to The Walking Dead. I could have sworn I said Hans. Our Hans are tied. Yeah, I'm really tired right now, guys. I'm sleep deprived, but let's do this shit. Episode 3 in harm's way. And when I get tired, my contact lens dries up. That's why I'm going four eyes real quick. And everybody's sad. Hey, Alvin. How does it feel knowing you're not the baby daddy? Is it awkward? Carlos, with your face all fucked up? Krista, or not Krista. Sarita, with the old meat eyes. Big old bug eyes. Kenny looks strapping with the beard, though. He looks pretty clean with it on. I gotta give him props. Kenny? Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that? Why bother? Be? Like the what? Hell is wrong with you There's people? nothing in here. Get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <laughs> oh, I see what it I is. I know who's fucking Bill. you just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking? You could have warned us. What do you mean he worse? To punish us. Is he going to kill us? Is he? Is he gonna kill us? I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge, and I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Oh, too soon. It's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. We have to do yeah, something. Well, Kenny, calm down. Stop before. fighting. You ever what can we do? We, we can't get out of here. Prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny, please, calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. Right? She's right. Raise your hand if you're tired and cranky. Down. I know I am. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything Why is she crying? At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. Luke will help he us. Kenny's he probably right. Now, we'll have to wait and see. That, that, that. that guy's a flake. Luke will help us. I set eyes on him. Luke will help us. Oh, yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Maybe. Hey, look, Clem. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just yeah. Sit down. Shut up. Then Doc. we're gonna kick them all this in the balls, close. right? Right, guys? Hey, just, if something happens. Just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Uh... Kenny, please, just, just listen to me. Sure? Them. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody run! Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? <laughs> Is he okay? Really? I think so. Oh, what hit me? <laughs> he got knocked out before the, the soldiers got to him. <laughs> what the fuck? Great plan, Kenny. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him.
The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here, man. How'd you We've get that off? Come here. Your faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Well, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. It takes solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, and they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Who does this guy think he is, Look how God? Much food they have. He's talking like wow, he's Hitler. You ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I I can't. He's. He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project. Grow up. I'm sorry. He'll be back. Yeah, he's coming back. He'll be back. When? I don't know. How the fuck should I know? He will come back. Thanks, Clem. No problem, Sarah. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light. Yep. A bright light. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest. Cause there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But Speaking of fucking Bill. Hey guys. Is that where the magic Reggie. happened? <gasps> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? They fucking Just cut my arm off. Trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us. You, but... What happened to his arm? What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell. And everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. Uh-oh. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Reggie Carver sounds like a bitch. Office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. He's probably going to talk to him about how they're going to raise the kid, all three of them. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? I this am you Clementine. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Pete? Well, Pete, that's a funny story about Pete. You know? It all started off with, uh... Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? What a jerk! Sorry! Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Reggie, shut up. Oh my god, you sound like a bitch. Sorry. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but... 
Like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. I'd Bill be a dick too if people were talking while I was sleeping. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he Who is did she? Say that, Why is she by herself? I'm not happy. She's about watching it. us. It's probably bullshit. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. Yeah, staring is not I polite. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. Basically slavery? When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes. Carver killed forgiven. my friend. Are you serious? That make up for what he's done, this feels Reggie. like a prison. I know that. But yeah, I'm Carver starting to killed see what my friend. This place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't <laughs> he's know like, what happened. Well, yeah, oh, that's but fucked up, but he um, had his yeah. reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. We won't get you in then, trouble, out, sure. I could help you more. Yeah, we won't get you in trouble. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. You sure about Reggie, that? I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Well, he is your, your family, family now, so deal with here. it. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Should have. Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that guy. Trust him. Fuck him and his I mean, one clearly, arm. Clearly, he's already drank too much of the I like him. He's just scared. I yeah, he sounds like a scared. giant vajayjay. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in sure. a tight spot. What should I look for? Reggie will get in trouble. What should I look for? Well, Timer was running out. It was this close. For? Stuff that but I'm they clutch. don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Thanks, Kenny. Such a sweetheart. But Mike Let's talk to Rebecca. Really I didn't quick. treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain. He knows. You I should be nicer. <laughs> you should be That's nicer. It's better to be nice to people, just in case. <laughs> oh, roasties! <laughs> I suppose you're right. Man, Clem is so sad. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. Hit a tourniquet on me, real. Clem quick. straight up checked up on you and then roasted you. I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. What, you can't even say hi to me? I watched you go pee. I thought we were besties. Who's this, Nick? Oh, Nick. Okay. Our Nick. Thought it was a different Nick. And she has to go around the bed just to talk to him. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. I really like Nick's voice. 
Cause me. Why I didn't he help us? Years now I, I don't know. Never. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Why didn't Things he help us? Whole Where did he go? Change. Why wouldn't he help us before we got here? I don't know. I just know he's out there still. He's smart. Smarter than me, that's for sure. Oh, that's for <sighs> sure. That's Guess for damn sure. Get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. I don't like Night. the sound of that. I don't want anybody riding my ass. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. Looks rickety. Here we go. Let's pull on the fence. Really? Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. Yeah. Oh, God, relax when she's Don't mind me, around, I'm just doing kid things. Everything. I'm just doing hood rat things. Don't worry about me, Reggie. Our dog. Is it cool if I call you our dog? No. People don't call each other that nowadays. Wait, what? Rope. Okay, I could work with that. That looks like something I could do. This ladder too. Oh, do we pull that pulley thing down? This thing? And then we climb up out of here? That'd be too obvious though. Like, why would they put that there and then have the rope there if they didn't want us to escape? Obviously, they would know, right? Let me check this Bob wire. Ouch. Ouch is right. Ouch your rooskies. Really, Jay? Did I just say ouch your rooskies? I have changed. I have changed. Ouch your rooskies. <laughs> Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. Yeah. I had one that's job, it. Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. You shut your fucking mouth. Hey, Carlos. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey, oh, racist! I am Indian. I thought you were Mexican. Everybody get to bed. I kept calling her Sarita Mamacita or something like that. I thought she was Mexican this whole time. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? Sure. It's Let's your do it. decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good. Good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We we'll right. made it. <laughs> I like how she just went to sleep right away. Like Kenny's like, go to sleep, and she's just like... Like me, when I have to go to sleep, I lay in bed, toss and turn, play with my balls. Can't even fall asleep still. Hey. What the fuck, bull haircut? Why you gotta kick me like that? Let's stare back at him. Because he's a fuck. Yeah, there you go. Give him the mean yeah. eyes, though. Bill's gonna have a word. Oh yeah? What's he gonna say? What's he gonna tell me? There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. So tired. Salvation is Shut up. Available, Fine. Pay attention. Shut up. Shut, up. Shut your ass up. You have to be rude about it. 
Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Jesus. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Go on, Carlos. It's my fault. Just get it over with. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Hey, I'm talking to Bill or Carver or whatever the fuck your name she's is. About to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Yeah, but the mental hurt will last a lifetime. Do it. Jesus Christ. I didn't expect him to give her a pimp slap. That was hardcore. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. What a bitch. Everyone else should have their assignments. I'm talking about it's Carver, not Carlos. Wow. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. Man, they really did a good job by making Troy and Carver me. unlikable. What did you say, Aunt Jemima? Soil, coming up. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Carver is the reincarnation of the devil himself. If not, maybe the telltale version of Hitler. Either way, we are all in this camp, and we got to figure out a way out. If you guys want to see the next episode, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude! <laughs>